Hi there, Broderick the AMI guy today, joining you to talk to you about TAP TV. Now, some of you may already be familiar with TAP TV because our trivia and poker channels have been around for some time. However, one of the lesser known features of TAP TV is our tournaments. That's right, we have tournaments available for the trivia channel, and I'm going to be showing you today on how to use that and set that up so you can take advantage of this great but little known feature. Uh, before I get started, you should know that tournaments are a great way for your location to become engaged more with their guests as well. It can be as simple as making one of the prizes an appetizer or maybe one of the shirts that promote the location, or it can be as easy as a prepaid gift card. Uh, anything like that is a wonderful prize that people will compete for, and it's a matter of getting repeat business out of that, and when people do come, for them to stay longer. So they get better dwell time, larger ticket sales, as well as um, people being coming more engaged and wanting to come back on other dates so they can continue to build their score and kick that person out of the top slot. So let's get started. And before we can do that, we've got to log in to the AMI operator webpage. Okay, once you've logged into the AMI operator web tool, you're going to want to go to the navigation at the top and hover over media players. It'll offer you a new menu and you can select tournaments from there. Once you're in the tournament page, you'll notice in the upper right hand corner, there is an item that says new tournament and we'll start there. So to make this simple today, we're just going to go ahead and pick today's date and the default time of 12 o'clock PM. And then we'll run this through the month of October to finish on the 31st at 12 PM. Uh, you could change this to different times, different dates, you can run this for a day, a week, a month, two months, whatever suits you and, and your environment and the type of players that you have. But uh, just know that you can customize this here. What you cannot do is you cannot pick one for the same day because it is required that the system will automatically generate the promotional materials on the screen. So it needs at least a day to start promoting this. Uh, so then we'll select a location or you can select multiple locations to work from. Scroll down and click next from here we're going to describe the type of tournament that it is uh, you can see that this is a free tournament all tournaments and trivia are free and then the scoring is going to be the total of your top three scores and what that means is for every player it takes their top three scores and averages them out to give them rank uh, you can change this to either top five or top ten uh, but to keep this simple we'll just go through the top three today uh, next is the part where you're going to assign your prizes. So the first rank, we're going to make this really simple and we're going to go with a prepaid visa. So just enter this information in here and declare the value of it. And a common prize for first place is $50. And for second place, we're going to do $25. And for third place, we're going to do $10. Uh, keeps it really straightforward and simple. Uh, you can break these up just like we had learned when we were running the Tournamax system. You can put positions one and two and then skip three through nine and give a prize at position 10. And you just simply label three through nine as bragging rights and zero dollars. And uh, that'll come up in the pay screen when people go to play the tournament. You also do need to say, say it here how someone would go about claiming the prize. And you can enter uh, your email address, you can give a phone number, or you can say, talk to the bartender uh, for real simple purposes. It all depends on what you've arranged with your location or locations that you're going to be doing the tournaments with. Uh, if you are going to do just one location, it's a great idea to get them engaged in the prizes by giving away appetizers or uh, their own branding for the location, t-shirts and whatnot, or hats. Uh, if this is going to be across multiple locations across your entire route, then it's better that you go with some generic prizes like prepaid visas or tangible items uh, like technology or stuff that you'd normally put into one of your uh, crane machines or something. So moving on, we're going to click next from here. And we're going to give it a tournament name and we're just going to call it Halloween. Uh, the, role, the information is here. Of course, this is our office information. Uh, you can put a minimum age, 21 is always a great place to start. Are location employees eligible? For the most part, people say no, but that's really at your discretion. Uh, if you'd like to have them participating to know more about the game and how it's worked so that they can teach patrons and guests in the location, 
by all means, allow them to participate. From here, you'll click next. And this is a review of what we've known so far through these dates. This is us and it's going to score on the top three. You can scroll down and review your prizes and we are good to go. We click next. We have to accept the terms and move on. Tournament has now been created and will automatically be promoted both in app and on TV at participating venue. Winners will be notified in app and via email. So you are set to go. That's all there is to it. One last item on the promotion of your tournament. Now that you created it, be sure to go to the location or locations and let the staff know that you're running this tournament so they can participate in teaching the guests, make them go through it with their smartphone of downloading the application for tap TV trivia, and then creating a user account. So they're familiar because chances are they're going to be the ones walking the guests in the location through the process as well. It's a great way to have them be informed and a great way to have them make happy customers. Remember, the whole point of having trivia in these locations is to keep guests in seats a little bit longer so they can uh, make a little bit larger tabs for them, which means typically larger tips for those servers that are helping these guests learn how to play. And we all know that once the tournaments get going, yeah, that person's going to stay for another round to try and knock that top ranked person out of place. I want to thank you for your time today to watch this video on how to do Tap TV trivia tournaments. And uh, we thank you for choosing AMI. And if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your AMI sales team or inside team here at 800-393-0201. Have a great day.